like I got this isn't happening. Oh, this isn't happening. Roger! Jane! Roger! Uh, Julian! What the hell? I thought you hated him. Well, Roger, you thought wrong. I'm in love with Julian. And I always have been. What?! You heard me, Roger. I'm in love with him, and I'm not gonna let you get in the way of that anymore. But I was a good boyfriend! And Julian, he knows nothing. What could he possibly have that I don't? A hell of a lot you could never understand. And I love him for it. Well then, fuck you, bitch! Back off! You can't tell me what I can or cannot do anymore! I never did in the first place! God! And besides- and Stop! There are fucking zombies everywhere! Julian, watch out! Oh my- Fuck! <laughs> the fuck? Good shot! <sighs> Shit! Well, look at him! He'll be alright! Actually, he looks pretty not all right to me. Shoot ah, him! I'm out of bullets. Ah! What's made the Yankees so successful is a traditional ritualistic slaughtering of goats. Not a lot of people know that, but it's true. You know, it's the little things that makes the god happy. Does that really work for you? Sure, why not? I appreciate the effort. You know, not a whole lot of people are doing that for me anymore. The little things. Should I start doing that? Christ, don't be such a suck up. <laughs> what are you gonna use that kind of luck for anyways? Bingo night? You're a priest. I don't know. I was just wondering. Another thing. <laughs> oh. Well, looks like I can call this attack off after all. How about that? Lucky you. But what? Father, have you decided to exercise mercy on this town? No. God, no. <laughs> it's just that the reason that this whole attack was brought on in the first place has just been killed. What? What was your reason? Are the pornographers dead? See right here, my child. This wicked, wicked sinner. Admitted blasphemy. You see that? Look at that. It's right there. No like. Don't want. You would send an army of the living dead to our town to kill one boy who threw his Bible? Well, a man can only take so much, you know. And the funniest part about this, though, is that I wasn't even the one who killed him. No, no. This kid survives the whole zombie army of the living dead thing, you know, boogie boogie god. Gonna kill you and eat your brains. <laughs> right? And then his brother shoots him by accident. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these kids, I tell you. I can't believe it. I won't believe it. Look at that girl, Lord. Look at that girl crying. I can't believe you killed that boy. I taught that boy in Sunday school. Sure, he was a bit misguided and a bit of a rebel, but that's no reason to kill that boy. He was a good boy. He was even better than his brother. I can kill him too, if you like. You know, make it fair. You would kill your children just like that? What, Lord, we are all expendable? I can't believe I've dedicated my life to this faith. And to you, you, a horrible, cruel being that you are. For Christ's sakes, bring that boy back. Give him his life. Taking my name in vain now, are you? 
Hmm, risky. I renounce my faith now. You're nothing but a tyrant and a fool. If you leave, I'll kill you. You think I won't do it? Oh, you just try disrespecting me again, buddy. I'd rather die than devote myself to you. I'm not afraid of you, and I don't care what you say. Hey! Hey! Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh... Oh well. Eh, I suppose he kind of did have a point. Jane, well, they found a nice little place in Connecticut where they lived happily ever after. As for Evie, she started her own business manufacturing gothic clothing. And, well, Roger, I think he learned his lesson. And that's why we should all take this message to heart and embrace Jesus within your own life.